so actually he went twice to Poland uh, to uh, shoot locales where Copernicus might have been. And the first time he came and joined me in Krakow and we went filming in Krakow. He came before my previous meeting was ended, so he joined in with the historians of science who were there, and we all went and happened to have a look at Copernicus's manuscript, the original, which is preserved. It's quite remarkable because most books that were printed in the Renaissance had the original manuscript torn up and destroyed by the printer. So he photographed very busily of everybody looking at the manuscript. But the next day he said, I'd like to photograph the manuscript itself. And I said, I don't know how many brownie points I have. They're very protective of this. But let us go over and see. So I said, we'll find out. Well, the library was closed, which worked to our advantage because it turned out that we could get in, but there weren't other people in the way so that he could sort of take over. Well, they were very uh, reluctant, you know. They had to consult with the head of the library. Would it be okay? How many pictures did he want to take? Well, I knew when he took pictures, <laughs> he took pictures. <laughs> I can always remember uh, when I had gone to Merida in Mexico and had taken two pictures of the uh, cemetery because he had been interested in uh, uh, ways of death and had put together a three-screen slideshow on that. And I was subjected to no, no end of snide remarks for a long time to come. Owen went to Mexico and he took two pictures. <laughs> Whereas Charles would have, of course, taken 20 rolls in the, uh, in the graveyard. So knowing that, I was a little reluctant to tell them how many pictures. So I said, oh, he'd like to take pictures of about 10 openings. So they agreed that he could take pictures of 10 openings. The only thing is he took about 150 pictures of the 10 openings. And I chose very carefully which openings to take. Uh, and some of the greatest pictures of that manuscript are the pictures that he took. I don't know. I might even have them still in the desk. I, I usually have a, a stack of original uh, Eames pictures here someplace. Yeah, here they are. They're, they're, they're sent in, uh, uh, in these wonderful little uh, style. Here's the, here's the manuscript uh, of, of it. Uh, here's the kind of detail that he took. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, here's uh, uh, the great uh, diagram. If you want to focus in on something in particular. And I know when we went photographing that early that morning in Krakow, basically he was interested in textures. Uh, and I don't see that, that he was immediately tying the textures he was seeing into the final exhibition because I don't suppose he had he was close enough to envisioning how it was going to be but he knew that whatever the exhibition was going to be it was going to show the texture and the landscapes and as part of the setting and very many of these detailed pictures he took turned out even from that trip to go into the final exhibition but I think it was in part a matter of working with what he had available. Uh, it, he talked in the design film about constraints. And one of the constraints is what you have. 